what is up guys shockwave here welcome back to a brand new video today we are back here on the hunger call of the wild and in today's video we're down here on verhunga looking for some nice lion respawns from the stream and hopefully we get lucky with this but unfortunately no luck up to this far there is another mythical cave buffalo right there and there's also a mythical right down here so i'm kind of confused on where these guys came from but I'll definitely take it might even be able to kill them both if I get super lucky all right we're gonna stand up here and see if we can see him anywhere I think that's him right there yeah that's definitely him so uh, I don't know how good of a shot that was looked kind of rough but we did manage to at least grab a lung on it because he was going down pretty quick so but at least we got a decent buffalo on the ground over here and that'll be good for respawns and all kinds of cool stuff so yeah look at the uh, the horns on that guy that hate to get ran over by him but let's see what he scores 141.9 151 is diamond so just a big old gold buffalo nothing wrong with that so yeah that's all we got out of this little pond let's go ahead and go on down making sure I didn't delete the zone there let's go ahead and go on down to this spot and kind of work our way through here and then we'll hop around this little triangle see if we can find anything in any of these spots this pond right here is just really really thick with cover over here on the kind of northwest end of it it is very hard to actually see if there's anything over there drinking so what I usually like to do is run to this end of the pond and if you don't get a warning call probably nothing over here so I just kinda check around I usually find them in this little area drinking but oh god we're in a tree doesn't seem like there's much over here right now other than a few jackal and we're not really after them alright so off to the next one so this is another one that's pretty hard to see all the way around the pond especially from this tripod but I usually just hop up here look around a little bit and if I don't see anything or get a call from anything I tend to just leave alright guys so we do have a line at this one level six so not too bad we also got some gims buck over here this is a pretty happening little area usually have quite a few animals in this one just not really any decent lion so far but we're definitely gonna take this guy out I have no clue what's making that guy run away unless maybe it is the lion so he's at about 225 meters we're gonna stay zero for 150 and hold high and that looked pretty clean to me he's gonna be going down right there and that's all she wrote for him so so let's go over here and grab this guy real quick all right so here's this guy 225 meter shot put him down pretty quick didn't mean to run over him there but a nice gold here and as you can see we actually held just a little too high for my liking i'd rather put it right in here somewhere but we did manage to miss the uh leg bones and everything which could stop the penetration and we actually managed to get a double lung there which is not bad at all so there is our first male line, I'm pretty sure, of this video. I can't even remember. So, not bad at all. That is a gold. 44.20 and 48.50 is a diamond. So, really on the grand scheme of things, it's not too far off, but still not close enough for my liking. All right, guys. So, we're down here at this other little pond. And I must say, this is by far the worst setup I have. I truly don't know why I have it here. It's just a teeny tiny pond. And there's never anything here like not even jackal kudu nothing I couldn't tell you last time I actually killed an animal over here or just simply spotted one so this is definitely something we're gonna have to move I think I just threw this one over here because someone recommended this spot to me but so far I've not actually killed anything in this area I might move this down here because this is a much bigger you know lake to cover and I know there's lines over here, so there's probably lines at this one as well, but I don't know, just never really seems to be much in this little area. So speaking of the Twin Lakes, we're going to go ahead and head over here. I usually have decent luck at this one, 
but I do kind of have it set up a little bit weird. I've got the tripod over here and you can't see the other lake, so pretty much just have this to reduce hunting pressure on this side, but unfortunately this isn't even like the good lake in my opinion, so. Alrighty, so it doesn't seem like there's anything on this side. Alright, so nothing on this side. Let's go ahead and head over here to the other side. You make so much noise going through all this thick crap through here, so I usually try and keep on this little trail, kind of, and I just try to weave in and out of all the cover through here. And I don't know if this is like the quietest way of getting through here, but it definitely seems to be less noisy as going up on the top there, so we're just going to sneak on through here. Not necessarily sneak, but walk through here and see what's on the other side all right so we finally managed to get through all this crap and there is a lion over here i just seen it there it is so that's actually a new drinking zone and i'm pretty happy with that sometimes i'd rather find more zones than animals on zones I already have if that makes any sense all right so she's right at 200 meters and the 300 should not have any problem with that zeroed for 150 it should go wherever you're aiming and yeah she's gonna go down right there Man, I did not realize she was this far over here it took me forever to get over here it feels like but here she is she kinda died in a bad spot so we're just gonna pick her up and as you can see we did manage to get double lung it just barely goes into that second lung but as long as you hit both of those lungs the lines are going down very very fast alright guys so we're over here in the central savannah now and this is actually one of my favorite spots because this is up on this giant ledge. You can kind of look out and just spot everything down through here. And it is pretty helpful. I actually come here sometimes before Lion Drink Zone. And I'll wa watch them kind of go to this lake to go and drink. So yeah, like always, thank you guys so much for the support on all the recent videos and everything like that. Definitely is a lion somewhere in here. Hopefully it's not gonna see me before I see it. I am gonna go ahead and get the rifle out because I have no clue where this line's at and now I know. And she's gonna take off. That's kind of unfortunate. Let's see if maybe we can get a shot on her here. And that's definitely gonna do it so <laughs> can't really complain about that. I have no clue what I hit on her. It could have honestly been heart, could have been head, I don't actually know. Alright guys, so I came over here to just kind of spot through the right side of this lake. And you'll never actually believe what I found. There is a male lion drinking right there. A female lion that is just kind of standing watching him, she's actually drinking too. But there was another female in these kind of trees right in here. So there's all kinds of them through here and... What's actually pretty crazy about this is, there's the other one that I've seen as well, but what is crazy about this is that is right here, and my setup is right here. So they're kind of drinking in a spot that I can't see them. That's why I do have these two or three spots set up. So that's 349 meters. And I'm not too worried about getting the best shot on this guy, but I am going to try and shoot him. Honestly, he's only level 6, so I might go for a headshot here. Definitely hit him. I don't think that's going to do enough to him to actually take him down, though. I have no clue if this will go through the trees, but I'm going to send one. No clue if I actually took him out with that or not, but I guess we'll know if the hunting pressure pops up here soon. I definitely hit him on that first one, but I must have just been a little high or low, left or right from the brain. So, so that other female is still drinking up there too, and I don't actually believe the binos right now. Yeah, she's only 370 something. It says that she's like, well, whenever I'm spotting her standing up it says 500 or 366 so either way we're just gonna hold high when she stands up and hope for the best all right here we go that definitely hit her she actually levitated there for a second we hit her so good 
and she's going down. That's about a 400 meter shot on that female lion. Now, unfortunately, we couldn't have done the same thing for the male. Just didn't really work out that way. But I'm actually going to sit up here and kind of glass around this left side. See if I see anything over there. And then we'll go pick up maybe two lions here. Definitely one over here. Alright guys, so we just came down from our little perch up there. And I actually found a lion zone, which is pretty good because even though we destroyed the zone that was right here that they were drinking out of, I pretty much just found it again, so that is very helpful. I was kind of upset that I did end up destroying that, but it's all good. So we're going to go ahead and claim this female lion here. So yeah guys, I knew we didn't hit a heart shot on this one just because of how high up I actually was aiming. We ended up hitting her right in the spine. And that explains why we dropped her, but we're about to drown, so we have other problems. Alright guys, so there is another lion in this area. Not quite sure where at. It could be the male that we injured earlier, but I definitely hear one. Alright guys, so here is the female that we killed. Pretty far shot, let's see where we hit her. I actually managed to grab both left and right lung at 367 meters so just about 400 meters and we ended up grabbing both in double lung so that is pretty good but honestly I have no clue how many lions are running in this area there's all kinds of tracks through here and it's a pretty good sign so I'm definitely gonna start hunting this area a little bit more but as you can hear there's another lion somewhere over here and I would like to say it's probably the one that we shot earlier the male and I believe this right here should be his tracks alright guys so <laughs> I've actually spotted this lion and he's at 0 to 25 health alright guys so we're over here at our final little location this is my personal favorite place to hunt lions and if we look right over here we actually have a female drinking and we're not too worried about her because I'm Pretty sure there's a male over here somewhere. I just spotted him a second ago. Yeah, there he is. And that's a level 7 heart, so we definitely want to try and take him out. But I also spotted another line somewhere in this area. Can't remember exactly where it was at, but it was another female. So I'm just going to try and kind of make my way around here, see if I can find any more. And then we'll hopefully take out this level 7. And then go and try and retrieve that other lion that we shot earlier alright guys so there's actually two level sevens in this area and another female and we couldn't see this guy from where we was standing earlier so I think I'm actually gonna move my tent to right here in this spot because this is way easier to spot the entire lake at alright guys so we got the 300 zeroed for 150 and whenever he steps up we're gonna take him Alright, so that looked pretty clean. We're going to try and take this one too, if we can. Oh, come on, turn. I don't want you facing me. We're actually going to take this. Alright, so I think we at least grabbed a lung on that. And that should be two level 7 lines on the ground. And we're going to go collect those. Alright guys, so I actually got the ATV to go over here and pick these guys up. Because they were pretty far away. And I didn't really feel like running all the way over here. So so here's the first one. I believe this is the heaviest one of the two. And that's a 46.50 scoring line. And that might be the biggest one of the day. 48 makes diamond like I said earlier. So that's still a very good line at that. And then the next one's right over here. So we'll go ahead and pick him up too. Alright so here is the second one. And that's a 45 point 30 and we actually managed to hit both lungs I was actually going for a hard shot but I am just a tad bit too high just a little bit so definitely can't complain about that we've pretty much done our job here on Verhunga and killed off a few of these lions hopefully in the next video we'll be able to get a few bigger ones and uh, yeah I can't wait to get a diamond and get that thing posted up in the lodge it's gonna look amazing or maybe even an albino Maybe we can get an albino diamond. Uh, I'm dreaming at this point. But anyways, we got one last thing to do here. And that is to go over here and see if we can figure out where this male line is. 
Cause it does not seem like he died, and I don't want to leave him out here injured. Alright guys, so we've actually got a warning call over here from a lion, and it is a male, and I'm about going to guarantee you that it is the one that we've already shot two or three times. So yeah, that is him. He's at about 150, and we're just going to have to take this guy out. And of course, he's going to start running. I am so confused. I thought for sure we was going to be able to kill him this time, but he ended up spooking away anyways, and... I don't know where in the world he went. So I've been tracking this thing for so long and it ran up to this point right back here and it left a disturbed veg on the ground and you can see it right back there. And there was no other tracks up to this point so I don't really know how that works but I've just wasted so much time trying to figure out where this thing actually ended up going. If I don't kill this thing then I'm just not gonna feel right. <laughs> Finally on his tracks though, and he's definitely done a number. He's running very far, so he's actually heading straight for this lodge. And I think what I'm gonna do is place a waypoint right here, go to this lodge and see if I can maybe get lucky and find him traveling back this way. I feel like that's really the only thing that I can do at this point. I've learned my lesson though, don't make bad shots on a lion because it's not going to end up well for you. I've also just realized that I've been tracking this thing for like 30 minutes and I just now spotted that kudu so I actually don't even have his tracks anymore. Luckily I did put the mark on the on the ground over there so maybe I'll be able to find him. Honestly I have no clue. This is driving me crazy though. Well back on his track so literally right where we left off and it turns out that we came from that direction and he kept running kind of east so it's hard to tell where he's at now or how far away he actually is this is how far we've gone from where we spotted him and you can see the tracking and I actually spawned up here just to kind of make it over here and still no luck so I guess I'm just going to have to track him down and shoot him, and I'm probably going to shoot him multiple times even whenever he's dead at this point. So the fact that he's straight down went from us too is horrible, and I think I'm going to make another weird call here, and I'm actually going to put another waypoint down somewhere in this area, fast travel over here to this tent, and then work my way back and I swear if I can't find him I'm just gonna retire from hunting and I don't even think I really deserve to hunt anymore after this. So have you ever heard about goose syndrome is what some people call it? It's whenever you hunt geese a lot in the Hunter Classic or even in Call of the Wild and you don't actually hear a goose uh, or a flock of geese but you feel like you do. Yeah well I'm to that point with lions. I feel like I'm hearing this lion like non-stop but <laughs> he's actually never given me a call or ever actually calling so this is just horrible I've seen so many animals I actually kinda wanna go after and I'm just running past them all because I just simply wanna find this lion this gives me flashbacks to whenever I shot a bobcat in the butt with a recurve bow in the hunter classic that was actually on one of my streams me and Lammy actually ended up tracking that thing down, and I think the wound time was something like an hour. It's just not fun. <laughs> but I kind of live by that. If you heard it, even if it isn't a video game, you gotta go get it. And it's my fault for making a stupid shot. Shouldn't have actually done that, and I could easily just, you know, edit that out and act like it never happened. But we all mess up. I'm actually going to let this little warhog run me over for my pain and misery. Thank you, sir. Thank you. True warrior. So maybe with the touch of that little warthog, we're going to have some good luck and be able to actually find this lion. Wait. It's right there. Where you at, buddy? You know, I was thinking I could probably make a video of this, just this, not even any of the other lion kills, just this guy, <laughs> because I've got like 40 minutes of footage of me just wandering around the desert looking for a lion, 
we're being outsmarted by a lion and you know it's not necessarily unusual for me to be outsmarted by animals but it is kind of unusual for me to be outsmarted by animals that we've shot twice with a 300 magnum so you know it, it is what it is at the end of the day if we find them if we find them I, I'm gonna find them I'm gonna kill this thing and I truly want to kill him I, it's for vengeance and just glory pure manship at this point if I do kill him I will probably teabag him multiple times and I will put him in the lodge and that's where he's gonna live for the rest of his days I kind of feel like Spongebob in that one episode where he's the pizza delivery guy Krusty Krab you know and it's 17 o'clock if only this clock was in American I could read it and if my math is correct I believe that means it is five something I could be completely wrong like I said the clock isn't in English so I have a hard time reading it but I am bilingual I have no clue where this freaking lines at and it's really upsetting me I'm gonna stop recording until I actually kill it because my hard drives probably gonna be full after this all right so an update we are covering ground a little bit quicker here and I will find this thing I'm gonna run it over whenever I find it too look what we have here I just hopped off the trolley and we well it was fresh it's old now but I think he's actually heading back west and he's running so he probably smelled us or something anyway so I'm just gonna continue on I, like I said I'm gonna run this thing over whenever I find it. It, it it stands no chance at this point oh my god we killed him oh my god there's no way is that him is it him <laughs> you stupid little mother 200 and 14 meters he's not too far out there and he's behind a bush but you know what Shoot him right in the forehead did I get him did he die I think we I think he's dead oh my god play the victory song it's the thrill of one more kill. So this is what victory feels like. I absolutely love it. We're gonna go over here. We're gonna pick him up. But first. Oh my god, we killed him. Alright, let's see where we shot this brute at. The first th the first shot hit everything inside of this thing's skull besides the brain and it, I was just a quarter of a half of a quarter of an inch too far to the right the second one somehow managed to actually hit him right in the nothing um, it says that we hit the skull and the jaw somehow but we just pierced his ear the third shot literally didn't even hit him in the brain either and it went like right through it but uh, you know I guess I said we shot him in the forehead we really did but this this is the man that we've been after eleven thousand dollars to tax this thing alright so here we are at my crib and no one's actually seen this yet so here's a, a quick little tour of the trophy lodge you're not gonna be able to see much but this is what it looks like at the moment boom that's all I'm gonna show you so you know we'll have a video on this in the in the future but as of right now we're gonna have to put this thing somewhere and honestly honestly I think he's going right here so here he is alright so that's what we kinda finished with there and yeah I absolutely hate this guy but this is Larry the Terminator and you know, we're forever going to cherish this moment that we have with each other. If I could shoot him right here, I probably would.